let's see <laughs> if the camera is still happy with me. <laughs> All right, so for the next step, we are gonna make that fold out page. So first I'm gonna grab my scoreboard. Then we are needed this page also at 10 inch. Okay. Then we are going to score this half inch. I always like to fold it first. Okay, then we are going to score four and a half inch. That's the first step. Now I'm gonna grab another page. I'm gonna cut this again at 10. Now I need to see what I did. What did I do? I think I used this as my pocket. Yes. So the next one, I believe we score this at, um, I made this on here with some hinges I believe, I did that, did I use hinges or is it a tuck spot, I did make it all the way through, so guys I need to watch. <laughs> what I did already. I believe I put this on here and so the first thing that I'm gonna do is score again four and a half and then this was the leftover piece something like that <laughs> yeah let's do some abracadabra checking check 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 is my camera still rolling Yes it is. Alright, now let's make some hinges. Let me first cut this. Could have made that out of that page. Well, I think this will do too. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Let's do some magic. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. So the first step that we did was this one okay with that hinge four and a half hinge and then we have this leftover piece this leftover piece is going to be the pocket yes it is so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make that hinge the same size as that pocket and we need two of course of course we need two all right, now one side we can cut a corner off. You don't have want this to be bulky. Okay, let's glue this down in one piece right here. Yes, and then the other one. I almost whisper, I don't know why, but I want to get focus on this page. Otherwise, I get lost, you get lost, and nobody finds it back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so make that pinches. And now we grab that other piece. And this one we score, do you remember, at 4.5 inch? 
And now I'm just going to add this on top here. So what I like to do is put some glue on those hinges. And some at the bottom to close it down. Ta -ta -da -da, ta -ta -da -da, ta -ta -da -da. And then just glue it on top. Just keep away from this. You still need to fold this down, so please be aware of that. some magic so now what we have we have that hinge four and a half inch then we have another four and a half inch but we have that pocket we just make and then we have this leftover piece oh yeah 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 yippity 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 too now let's see how I added this. this do, 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 do. Um, I had oh yeah, this one was right here, and then and then this needs the other way. Yep. this way. Yeah, the small piece up. Yay! Cool. So, I'm just going to grab my folio back for you guys so you can see it how it is. And of course we do need to make some pockets, but it's easier to show you the finished project. Okay, so this is our See, this is the small piece that we still can make two pockets out of this. Then you turn this open and then we can add two pockets right here. And then you can flip this again and then this adds on here. See? Okay. So this is the front side. I even see that this is smaller. Okay. I make, I make this smaller. You can do that. Which size is this? This is a 3 one fourth, and this is 3 3 fourth. Okay, so we can cut this down if you like. And then this turns this way. Then we have that pocket, which I half this. I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna make two pockets out of this big one. And then on here, we just made that incision. So now you can see it's exactly the same. Only this one was shorter. This is shorter. All right, okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's easy to show you, and also for me too, how it, how I did it first. Okay, so I'm gonna add this hinge on here right here that's easier when i flip this open and i'm just going to add some glue i'm just keep an eye on my camera guys this is not very comfortable so afraid am i that's it going to be happening again that it's not filming it's a total waste of time to do it all over again you can imagine that all right now this was this piece right here and then at the bottom we made a big pocket um, you can use a leftover piece guys you can I only want that this pocket is not longer than that four and a half. 
and this isn't. So just grab any piece you like. These are all the same, so easy to use. Let's make a pocket. Make a fold line. Grab your pencil and make a mark. Make another fold line and cut it shorter with your scissor or with your cutting machine. Fold it and there we go. Bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay away two millimeters at least from that fold line. You don't want to mess with this. Is born. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm gonna fold this all back. Okay, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. That went very nice. All right. Next. Cool, 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 cool. Yappity yeah, yeah, yappity yeah, yay. Okay, that's me. <laughs> Next step. Another page that we are going to cut at 10, 10 inch, and now we are going to score this half inch for the hinge, and then we're going to make this, well, let's say, yeah, let's make this a one fourth. Gossets. There we go. One fourth gusset, and this one comes on the left side right here. So I need to measure that, let's just see how this all goes, because we do make this each time a little smaller, just a little, so one, one millimeter, that's all we need. Okay, now before I am going to add this on here, on the left side, we're going to make that other big pocket. Uh, I bet you remember that, how I did that. This is queen way. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to score half inch all the way down, half inch at the bottom. Cut this piece off. Then I'm gonna fold it. Fold it. Okay. Stay away one millimeter from that fold line guys and one millimeter from the other side let's make another fold line and then you can cut this cut the corner don't have any bulk. There we go. 
go. So we have that big pocket, and now we can cut this to the right size. If I see my pencil mark, no, oh, here it is. And now we are going to make that triangle cut to the other side. Remember the first one was on the other side. Two inch mark and a four inch mark. And then I'm gonna cut from mark to mark. I am a pocket lover, so I am going to add this leftover piece. Don't forget the bottom. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Yes! Cool! And now we can add this on our folio. It's easier to fold this flat. I need to put it on here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make this flat so it's easier to work with. It's just a tip. If you like that. If you like to have a tip, 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 tip. it all back. Ta -ta -da -da. All right. Ta -ta -da. Okay, so we have a nice gusset on the inside, on here, and we're gonna get one more on the other side. But how far do we get? So we have that big pocket. And then, oh, we still have to make our pockets on here and on this side. You're not finished yet with this big one, but okay, you get the drills. We're going to do that in just a sec. And then this folds over. This is the incision page. And then we have these two flaps and this, and then we have our belly band. gonna make first those little pockets before I forgot and how deep will they? They were two and a half and I think these are just the leftover pieces. Okay. So let's do that first. Okay so you can grab your leftover pieces. It does not have to be particularly two and a half but Let's make this three. Let's do something different. Okay, so I'm gonna make these three just because it can. <laughs> All right, so you know the drills how to make a pocket. I know. 
you can. I hope. <laughs> this is just how I like to make the pockets. I'm just gonna make a fold line. Then I'm gonna make a mark, and I always like to make a mark one millimeter smaller than the actual page is. That's one pocket, and I'm gonna make that other one. Fold it, mark it, and make another fold line. I cut it shorter. Can't make it any easier than that. You always can do a flap on the bottom. I never do that because everything what I put in here in this pocket will bump in that hinge. And I don't like that. Alright, so the first thing, this is so much easier. Why do it the hard way if you can make it easier? Okay, let's glue on the first one. next one I always like to eyeball this so these two spots are about the same sizes that's how I like it no measuring just eyeball eyeball it eyeball it no idea if this is correct but Eyeball. This does not need to be perfect. I bet it's not, but for me it's okay. Two and oh, almost a two. Okay, that's fair enough. Now I saw on this one that I used only um, um, only design paper, but I do love actually making a full pocket so I'm just gonna make again some pockets and so we use the same size also three yeah let's do that I'll make this also three inches just because it can First the flaps and stay away. One millimeter, stay away. Can't say that enough. Stay away from your fold lines. You always can make your pockets even fancier, of course, with using perhaps a circle point to cut this out. You can, but if I'm making a kit, I always try to use as less punches as possible. I'm trying, guys. I do try. Sometimes I just can't ignore them, I use them, but I'm going to try the best I can so you don't have to need to buy anything else than just what's in the kit. And of course, um, of course you need, you need materials, you need glue, you need a scissor, you need yeah, you don't need specially scoreboard, but it's handy, it is handy to have that. <laughs> so, but if you don't have it, please guys, I don't force you anything to buy stuff. Okay, 
that for the pockets. Cool. I love these small pockets. Love it. The rest is for the design paper to do. Yeah. Okay. Are we having time for the next step? What is the next step? Let me see. Oh, the next step is that full page. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do another page. So the, first, the next page, of course, we need to cut down 10 inches. And this one we need... We need space, so I'm going to score two times on half inch, half inch, one inch. And we need the space for our last thing to do in our folio. Is it already the last thing? Yes, it is. It goes fast. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. So, this goes on here. So first I need to measure. Not measure, just use your eyes. One millimeter away. And cut it shorter. And then I'm going to add this page. Okay, same thing right here. It's easier when I fold this flat. So I can push harder. There we go. There we go. Yep. So this is actually the main the, the first page that you see, that big frame, that's this one. Okay, so now you flip it over and you have a complete half inch space to work on this page. It's just that simple. It is. It is that simple. Are you still with me? I hope you do. Okay, let's grab another page. <laughs> and let's cut this at 10. And the next page, well, this little flip has also a little expandable thing. So we are not throwing everything around. <laughs> we are scoring at a half inch and then a one fourth extra. We do need space for our next. Flippity, floppity, last page. There we go. Okay, so this one is that small piece. This I'm going to show you. This one, it's just a simple one. This is just decoration. So this has a one fourth gusset opening and this is just a simple pocket right here and pockets on top. So it's simple and afterwards you can make these little flaps right here, this one and a pocket. So, um, yeah, how big do we want the pocket? You can. Let's see, what do we have left? 
what do we have left if we do exactly the same at four and a half what do you say about that You can make hinges if you want. I love that. Well, not making hinges that I love that the most, but <laughs> um, but I love that the pockets, the pockets um, are then better to be used if they. The reason why I do not score that much with that blue bone folder is because I have this so long and it's so already thick that it's not, it does not, um, it's too thick already to go to fold, to make a nice fold line. So that's why I have another tool for that. But I still like to burnish it down. Alright. Let's cut this in the same size. Yep. And then I am gonna cut this in a triangle. Same thing at the other one. Glue it down. Ooh, 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 ooh. How's my camera doing? Yes, I am still filming. <laughs> Now we can glue it down, just glue down the other hinge on each side. Yes, this is how I like it, a big pocket. Cool. I'm going to make that half afterwards. Alright, so now it's time to put this on that page. So put some glue on that hinge. Okay, let's grab this back. Now I can, yeah, I can do it like this. Let's add another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. Yeah. And it will be sturdier after we put design paper on, of course. Now it's wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. But you see it. You did see it already with my other one okay um now a few steps more so we're gonna make that flip up and flip down um so yeah let's go let's go to the next part okie dokie okay so let's go to the next part and that part is we're gonna make the flaps so first of all, we're going to make sure that we stay one millimeter away on each side of those fold lines. That is necessary. I think I'm going to, I'm going to cut right away two pieces because I think we need that. So they are perfectly the same size when I cut them right away 
in two. Now, so let me put this away. Now, what are the measurements to fold this? First of all, we need a half inch. That's for sure. That's always the case. Uh, I am going to check. I think it's... 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 Hmm. Okay. Which size is it? No idea. Did I not make this half this? No. I did not. Check, check, check it out. Oh, yes. I remember how I did that. Wait just a sec. My, my, my. You know I do not measure. So what am I doing with a with a ruler? Go, 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 go. I like to check first the middle of this page. That is five. And that is how I measure. Go, stick with your plan. So with that hinge at the bottom, just take I'm gluing this down and make a mark. Now I am gonna make a mark. All right. And now this is not straight, so I'm gonna make that straight, of course. Make it straight, girl. You don't wanna make a not straight page in front of all those people. <laughs> what I like to do now is I'm just going to make a line. I'm just going to cut off. Oh, I need space. I'm just going to cut off that pencil mark and then I have exactly the nice spot for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I do it. And now I need to make exactly the same thing on the other side. But I'm first going to at the first one so so what I'm gonna do the first one is ready with that hinge so I'm just gonna grab my album back okay so this one we can add this nicely in between yep a little off the contents because I did not fold straight so a little cheating cutting off it just a little all right so put some glue on and just fold it in between the lines not fold it in between the lines glue it down glue it down 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 down, 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 down. Do, 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 do. Oh. That's step one. Now I'm gonna grab that other piece that I already make a hinge of. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on here. Now I'm gonna make that fold line. Yes, 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 yes. Same thing. Fold it. Oh my goodness, this is also not straight. Why, 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 why? Why can't I make a straight fold line? Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm just gonna make a pencil mark and then I'm just gonna cut 
cut off that pencil mark. You can cut one millimeter off so it will fit nicely. And then this fits nicely. Okay. Let's glue it on the right spot. This is how we do it. Oh yeah. Okay, I like it. And then this flips up, but you also can flip it this way, whatever you want. I don't know, how did I do it on this way? No, I flip it up and down. Yes, I did it. I did it this way. Yeah, and then this one also. I did it this way, guys. I did it this way. Alright. Fine by me. That's totally fine by me. I did it? Yeah, I did. It's easier to open it, I guess. And this falls down. And this falls down. One step to do. And that is the big pocket inside here. Um, you can use... Well, I do like a deeper one, so I think I want to make another page. Does this fit? Yep. How deep pocket do we want? Mm, what do you say about a 5 inch? I think a 5 inch will do great. Okay, now we only have to make a pocket. You know the drills. Fold line. Fold line. And make a mark. So guys, I am. Am I making a mark off camera? Yes, I am. I'm so sorry. Bottom. Don't forget the bottom. All right, grab it all back. Grab it all back. Grab it all back. Yes, here we go. Stay away from this one, guys. Stay away at least one millimeter away. Stay away. Stay away. Okay. Guys, the base of our folio, believe it or not, is ready. The base is ready. It is. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> we still need to make some pockets. Just small pockets for this one. Just make small pockets. A few. Well, we do have... Quite a few leftover pieces, so we can we can make pockets. You can make as lot of pockets as you want, but I am gonna make a pocket right here. And which one? And one here at the bottom. And then one up. That is a die this way. And on this one, I did only one pocket. Okay. You can make as much as pockets as you want. 
as much as you please. Okay, let's put the scoreboard right here so you can see me, not what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Okay, guys, it's almost finishing time for me. My first day of filming after a long break. I'm still not completely back to my flow, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Yes, I am. Okay, making a pocket right here. I'm getting there. And that's not because I had a holiday. There's nothing wrong with me. I was not ill or anything. But... Um, to get back in the flow, I mean by that is that it's been a long time that I did my last filming. So I need to get used to it again. Because yeah, I did I did some crafting in the holiday as I told you earlier, but that's totally different. That's with the music on, that's downstairs with my family. That's totally different than talking to you guys. It is. It is different. I can tell you. It is. And I do love to do it. But of course, I also love crafting by myself. <laughs> If I be honest, I am. Perhaps that's the reason why I make this big project. It's not actually a big project, but yeah, I made three of them. Well, actually four. Can you imagine that? How dumb can somebody be? Well, it's not dumb. It's just me. <laughs> it is. It's just me. It's. Then I'm going to make something and then I think that it can be doing better and then I'm just starting all over again. And that does not mean that the first try out is a total waste of time. No, it's not. Definitely not. I will still love it and pressure it. Pressure it. Treasure it now. Well, anyway. <laughs> But that's just me. Just. There are always things to adjust. After you try something out, it's always trying, trying, and doing it all over again, and see if the, you can change anything that you like. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's a little harder to explain what I did or and does that mean that I it's a total waste of all my filming time? No. Just want to show you. you. You don't have to do exactly the same things that I did. I just like to show you the options. There are options. There are always options. And that's the beauty of paper. Paper, you can do so much with paper. Yes, I'm in love with paper. I am. I am a little addicted to paper. And actually I had that when I was a child already. On only then. I never heard of scrapbooking. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I think 
it's ready so this one is going to be two pockets and I hear my dogs so I think they wanted to go out I think it's time to I did make the pockets yeah I think now it's done the base the base is done oh my goodness love it love it love it love it love it so cool okay guys so that's it for today i'm gonna let my dogs out before they pee all over the place <laughs> so i hope you had a wonderful time and i'll be back tomorrow bye bye